What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the show. This is Audit Rewind where I react and criticize my favorite audit moments from recent times. Before we get started today, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and guys, grab yourselves a coffee, grab yourselves a snack, make yourselves comfortable, let's begin. In today's first video, we have Tyrant Terminator doing a First Amendment audit in a courthouse in Illinois. Now, he's there to actually get a FOIA request, but the problem is the people don't like being filmed and they soon actually start to feel very uncomfortable with the fact that Tyrant Terminator is exercising his rights. Now, in this video, I'm going to see what happens and it's well worth staying around till the end of today's show because we have some crazy features from all different channels on YouTube. So, without further ado, let's get started. I'll leave a link to the original down below. Someone probably could, he probably has knowledge. Does he work, you a supervisor of some sort, sir? No, I'm a probation officer. Oh, probation officer, yeah, like I was He's explaining to these young ladies. Sheriffs or something? Or? Uh, no, I mean, someone here should know just about a filing a FOIA request. Well, in terms of FOIA request, it depends upon which department. For pretrial. That's why I was asking her, was it pretrial and probation combined? Yeah, they're, they're, we're combined. Okay, so yeah, that, that's so just... So you have to contact the uh, public information officer. Yeah, I know. I can file it here, though, is what I'm saying. No, you have to file it with a public information officer. No, no, sir. So so how the law works is, I can file it with any public body. This is a public body. I understand it, but we have a department that takes care of... Oh, yeah, I understand that. So what I'm trying to tell you is when I fill it out here, I'll give it to you, and then you guys, the onus is on you to forward it to the to the officer, the uh, FOIA officer. Well, so I can file it here. But yeah. we don't have any FOIA requests here. You don't have any forms? Because I'm just here to file a FOIA. I have a right to file the FOIA? You do, too. You do. Okay. So let me help you with that. Okay. If you go to... Um, Cook County State Attorney's Office and just Google it, mm -hmm. right? On there it has, if you, it, it's it's in one of the, uh, like the things on top. Okay. Look at what the resources, there is an actual way to electronically file. So online you're saying? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I, I understand that you can do it online. Yeah. I know that's the way that you can, but I'd rather do it in person. You, you can't do it through us. Like we don't, I wouldn't even know what to do with it. So, what, so all you would do is accept it and you would forward it to but your appropriate gonna, person. But I'm not gonna do it. So you're going to refuse me the right to file one? No, no, I'm not. Because I'm going to fill it out and leave it I'm here. I'm not going to refuse <laughs> to your, your right to file it. Okay. I'm going to tell you the way that our office accepts for you, and I'm asking you to follow that. Well, the, the law states that I can do it here. So we're, so even if you guys are not willing to, we're talking and about the law. you're continuing to record me without my consent? Well, sir, you work for the public, sir. <laughs> you're a state's <laughs> attorney, what, sir. I don't know what that means. You don't, don't know what that means? means? <laughs> you work for the public. <laughs> I mean, these folks here, you're recording them too, and they're not consenting to it. They work for the public. Don't ask us, like, don't. <laughs> that, you're, that doesn't give you a right to, to record us, sir. Absolutely. I ask you to stop doing it. Or sir, I will ask you, you know, sir, sir, with all due respect, what's your name, sir? Jim. Jim. Okay, with all due respect. Why are you recording us? Okay, so you're not going to allow me to speak, sir? Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. so this is all I'm saying. You have no, ex anybody here has, even me, doesn't have an expectation to privacy in public, sir. We're in public right now. You're not in a private setting. I can record. I have official business here, and I'm documenting and you're that. you're not even allowed to record in, the, in this building at all. This is, a, this is a court. I think that you're misinformed, sir. I'm, I'm just being honest. <laughs> What's that? Arrival. Well, I mean, the, I'll do, I'll the law said you guys have five days, so of course it's I'll okay. Do my best. And then, and, and you and that young lady, are you guys willing to afford an uh, offer an apology? For what? Well, for saying that I couldn't do what I had a right to do. I'm not. I'm not engaging in that kind oh, of. Oh wow, wow! I mean, I just thought you would want to be transparent and honest. That's all. But if not, that's okay. Do you want to? Do you want to file? For sure. Yeah, I'll fill it out on a blank sheet. Yeah, for sure. What's up? You good? Oh yeah, everything's good. Yep, they're helping me. Yep, everything's good. Can't complain, man. As long as my checks don't bounce, I'm all right. <laughs> the officer at the end of this video was very, very good and actually honored the oath. Now, one thing I have to remember here is that a lot of these places are like this in the sense that it has all become automated, you guys. When a lot of these auditors go in to get FOIA request forms, usually it can be an excuse to just film. Either way, most of these places now just turn people away. If you went up to a courthouse or a district attorney's office or somewhere, 
you would end up getting turned away if you tried to get a FOIA request form. The reason for this is because a lot of the people there now don't even know how to give one out. They don't really get trained in doing this and everything just gets put online, which I think is removing the accountability of people in public office and employees of the government and people who should be held accountable. So I'll leave a link to Tyrant Terminator in the description. That's my opinions and criticism of this clip. Thank you for watching Tyrant Terminator. Let's get into our next clip. Activism, we here. Up next, we have a video by Good Guy Activism. I'll leave a link down below to his channel if you guys aren't already subscribed to him. Most of you probably already are. This guy is so fun to watch. And in this particular video, he gets on some cops' nerves because he is exercising his right to film in public. So in this particular video, he is filming some cops and he goes to look into a room not actually access it, but I believe he's just filming everything within plain view that he can see with his own eyes. That room may be restricted, but for some reason there doesn't seem to be a door across it that's shut. And from what I can see, there doesn't seem to have a sign that says it's restricted. There may be that I've missed it, but if you guys can find that, then comment down below and correct me. So these cops don't like good guy filming and walking about the premise. Without further ado, Let's get straight into this video and see what actually happens here. We got activists over here. This is a Long Island Railroad. That's good. Yeah, I'm just looking. This is not for civilians. Why are you blocking my movement? Sir, we're advising you. you now that if you don't have any business here, if you don't have any I do questions, have business. what's the business that you have? What's your name? My yeah. name is Officer Paul. It's right here in front nice of you. Is there, you. Any yeah. question, yeah. is there any question that you have for us? Or is there anything yeah, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it after taking a look around first. All right. It doesn't work like yeah. that. It does. It doesn't work like that. You're not supposed to come inside unless you have some type of business coming in here. I have business. So what's your business? I just told you. What is it? I want to look around, take my pictures and videos. Yeah. It's a fact that you can't record in a police station also. Where? Where is that that a fact? Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a law. I'm going to take a seat. Well, so if you don't, have any, you don't have any business here, there's no question. That you I just told you twice I have business here. Yeah, but I'm asking you what that business is. I said, first, I want to take pictures and then I'm going to ask right. for assistance. Then I, then I informed you that right. you're not allowed to record in a police station. You why why seat not? Seat. I don't see no signs that say I, that. I informed you that you're not allowed to do it. When a police officer says that somebody cannot film within a police department or a police station, that's worrying in my opinion. Surely there should be maximum accountability and transparency within a station where their most highest priority is to protect and defend the public. Good guy is a member of the public and he's there to get some information. He's exercising his First Amendment constitutional right. And still these cops are trying to tell him that he has to leave because he's filming. It seems like they're backing him into a corner where he basically has to just stop filming either way or leave. So I'm interested to see what actually happens in part two of this, whether they kick him out and trespass him or whether they actually do stand down and honor their oaths and decide to just, you know, ask him what he's actually doing. Good guy isn't gonna overstay his welcome. He never ever does that, trust me. Why, why not? I don't see no signs that say that. I, I informed you that you're not allowed to do it. He did the right thing. And if he doesn't want people to look in there, he closed the door, turned off the light. Not allowed to record the police station the fact. Why not? It's public. That's, that's not a thing. That is a thing. Right. Is there any you can't record him. Is there anything that we, that we can do for you? I'll just wait till he's you can't, you can't record in public buildings? You can record in the police station. Of course. There's sensitive activities when it's not a police station. It's not my job that's to keep sensitive. it sensitive. It's your job. Re regardless of the fact it's a sensitive location. You know what the fact is? The fact is that we have the First Amendment. And we can record that, in public buildings. That doesn't, that doesn't not work only that, not station. only that, I can record you in the course of your duties from public. That, yeah, that's fine. This Out, is public. Outside. No, this it's is a public inside lobby. Of inside of police station. This is a public okay. lobby. Okay, is there any, anything we can do for you or no? I say, yeah. What can we do for you? Um, I want to file a complaint. Okay, what's the complaint, guys? So okay, you have like a complaint form? In regards to what? 
the way I was treated. Today, right now. Yeah. I'm minding my fucking, I'm minding my business. Did I come up to you telling you where you can and can't go? Right, right, right. It's public. It's public, right? It's public, right? You just came inside. You can't just go inside and just. Why not? Or maybe I could just address you if you can educate them on the First Amendment. That's it. Because they seem confused. Regardless, you swore to protect my rights. It's public. Your supervisor's not telling me to stop recording. I want to file a complaint on the way I was treated here today. You ask to file a complaint and we get a supervisor here. Oh, so, I mean, I address my concerns with him, I guess. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully he's educating him now on the First Amendment, what we can and can't do. I didn't, I didn't come in here intending to go into restricted areas. You did the right thing. If you don't want nobody to look in there, you close the door. That's the right thing. Whatever I can see from public, which is this lobby, as you know, I could record. So, but they're young officers, so you know what can you expect. But when you become an officer, you should like take pride and like read case law, read up on the laws that you're trying to enforce, not just enforce. Now that is quote worthy talking at the end of this audit clip. You know that the cops should take pride in what they do, but most of them unfortunately don't, or from my experience, are in it for ego and boosts of their own personality. In this situation, good guy stood strong, he stood firm and stood up for his rights, but eventually the younger cop was schooled by his own sergeant and good guy randomly ended up winning this audit. Had the supervisor or the sergeant not arrived, then this probably would have not happened and good guy would have been either arrested, unlawfully trespassed or had his rights basically violated on the spot. It's good that he actually persisted and it's extremely good that a supervisor was there on the scene to actually deal with this. It's kind of upsetting that a lot of younger cops seem to be going through very lousy police academy training. Some of them don't seem to even have any training on the constitution, but instead seem to be androids for getting ID. It's kind of sad. I'll leave a link down below to the original. Let's get into our next clip. Now I'm going to be reacting to this clip by the Armed Fisherman. Oh my goodness me, this is so worth it. You have to stay and watch this clip, guys. This is a council chambers meeting, and it features the chief of police, supervisors, and around three or four other cops. This man is wearing something on his t-shirt. He is exercising his freedom of speech and expression, his constitutional right. He's also exercising his First Amendment, well that would come under the same thing, as well as uh, his freedom of press right, where he is filming. Now, these uh, councillors don't like the fact that this is happening and he is being asked to leave. But the armed fisherman decides to stand his ground and before he realises, he is surrounded by the entire council chamber of cops, including the chief himself. I'll leave a link down below to this guy's channel so you can support his activism. Let's get into this and see what happens. Do some reaction. Hold on. Hold on. I have a First Amendment right, dude. Come on. Dude, this is this is against my First Amendment right. This Cohen versus California. Hey, Margolis, Margolis, you know this court case. Cohen versus California allows me to have a shirt. I didn't say one word. Mr. Taylor, you were Dude, this is what happens if I do not leave. What is going to happen? Please state that for me right now because I'm about to file a lawsuit against all of you if you violate my First Amendment right right now. Mr. Taylor, if I do not, if being ejected from the meeting, if I do not leave, hold on. If I do not leave, if I do not leave, what will happen? Mr. Taylor, you're being for violating the I hear, rules of decorum, okay? I hear what you're saying. If I do not leave, yeah, what will happen? What will happen? Tell me, please, somebody tell me what will happen. Gandhi, please tell me what will happen if I do not leave right now. I'm asking the chief of police. If I do not leave, what will happen? He's addressing you at this moment. Listen to Officer Mercier and what he's telling you. The rules of decorum at this time, okay? You're being is it, is it a... Meeting, okay? Don't trump the Constitution. We're asking you to leave. 
council chambers. That's in the library. Is, you may remain in the library. Why? Okay. Why should if I do not leave, if council chambers at this time. I'm, at, I am generally asking you, Gandhi, please tell, talk Mr. to me, Taylor, please, Taylor, please. If I do not leave, what will happen? You're going to get arrested. If, meeting, if I get removed, be, listen, just listen. For okay. A second, yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. So the mayor's determined that you violated the rules of the court. What? How? He, oh. We listen for a second. Mm -hmm. He's made that determination. Mm -hmm. Our position in this is to, to uphold the constitution you out of the meeting. Right. If Cohen you refuse versus to Cohen. leave, if you refuse to leave, mm -hmm. you can be arrested for trespassing. Okay. Thank you. Warning. Thank you. That's okay, all I need. Him, You're right? trespassing me. Yes. Okay. This meeting, Cohen this versus meeting California. Can I? I you have to take all. Of them. Hey, turn your shirt inside out. This, turn your shirt inside. Out. Shut the f up, dude. All y'all. Now this is a prime example of how cops know what they're doing is wrong, but they still do it and try and reword it in the process. That chief clearly didn't want to say what he was going to say, so he tried to reword it in a more polite way. It didn't really work. And unfortunately, although the armed fisherman had supporters behind him and brothers on his shoulders, it wasn't working. The cops were willing to put him in handcuffs and drag him out of the chambers if need be, irregardless if that would have been violating his rights. Quoting case law to a lot of cops is completely useless. That's how I criticize this video. Having said that though, I mean it's still worth it in the sense that it's fact and it's the law the cops probably don't even care let's be real most of them the only ones that do perhaps would be the chief or some of the sergeants maybe deputy chiefs because they are held more accountable than the others a lot of case law is very interesting and it's well worth looking up on Hello. Hi. now this next video from good citizen is really interesting I don't usually feature clips like this or react to clips like this on my channel, but I just had to. This features two cops having a private conversation at the other end of a building where an auditor is actually exercising his First Amendment right. Now the employees in this building have called the cops on this guy because apparently some of their customers have been getting super pissed off and annoyed that they are being filmed. Now this lady is one of the employees of this building and she's trying to figure out how they can resolve this situation. However, the reason I really wanted to feature this clip is because the cops are talking to each other in a relaxed tone and it's actually really surprising that they know they can't do anything. These cops either support First Amendment auditors or they're actually the intelligent ones that know that they shouldn't F with the wrong people who will then hold them liable and accountable. This is good. Take a look at this. Hear what the cops say. Hello. Hi. This doesn't show on county for some reason. So, that's a county facility. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, it's just not on the map. Um, so what does it call uh, something auditor? He's a First Amendment auditor. That's First all he's doing. Amendment auditor. Yeah. Oh. He's just doing the, so it's the a, filming. A YouTuber. So I'm seeing. Yeah. Okay, so that's why he came here. Is he yeah, a little because it's out of it. <laughs> no, he's he's just like any auditor is. But he's been in town the last week that we know of. Uh, last week he was at Delano where he was filming at a hair salon there on Douglas because they were getting mad because they were filming them doing work and you know, the clients inside. Uh -huh. And we said, well, he's on the sidewalk. Yeah, There's right? nothing we can do. Right. And so we walked away from him saying, you know, yes. cover your windows. That's all you can do. Well, then he was out at Central Tyler, like, like, so but that's do, why. Do they have the uh, the right to film even though it's in the lobby? So I think this lady who works here has had a lot of complaints from the customers and maybe even other people that work there. She's been given the bad job of basically trying to convince the cops to kick this guy out. Let's be real, the cops seem to actually know what they're talking about this time. Yeah, I know, pretty rare, right? They know this guy actually has a First Amendment right and that he is in a publicly accessible lobby just filming things within plain view. So I'm interested to see how they're going to react to this lady and whether they're actually going to take any action or not. It seems to me they're actually going to just let him do it. Even though it's in the lobby, because, you know, clients come in, they don't want to be shown that they are 
a client here. Yeah. You know? So they still have the right of privacy. It, it should be you, outside the building and not inside well, the lobby. I, I don't think there's anything that says otherwise. Not like criminal law. I know you guys have like no. privacy mm -hmm. concerns, HIPAA. but HIPAA they don't really apply to him and they don't really apply to us. Yeah, HIPAA um, is what everybody throws at us when we ask for information. Really? Hmm. Yeah, if I was say. I mean, he has the right to um, request like open records and so on, but not to film our client inside the building. I don't think, should we consult our legal department? That's what I would do, because yeah. I can't give you like 100% good answer. That's what um, I'm saying, you need a supervisor yeah. out here. Let to, me check. Because he's like, well, we can just, write, no, if you, if you want to pay a lawsuit, go ahead. But that's what this guy wants. He so wants he, content. He's in, he's in like the publicly available yeah, area just out past the door. and he was asked to leave that's still a criminal trespass right i mean not for public access buildings it's just like going to the county building you can go inside and sit all day long was he like disruptive yelling at anybody anything uh, like that people get mad at him because he was filming them yeah, like, yeah but not him talking to them first. What was that again? Not him yelling at Okay. No, He's just so we don't really have any charges. We have a situation. Because, um, I mean, if we had a disorderly or a trespass, I mean, I'd the, the do the case and take his phone as evidence. But um, if we don't even have that, I'd just trespass him. And, and we asked him to stop. That's really all I can think to do. So this was actually really, really surprising. The fact that these cops knew what they were talking about for once and realized that they couldn't overstep the mark and try and trespass this guy or arrest him. I can understand where this employee is coming from. She probably has enormous pressure and peer pressure from other people trying to tell her that she needs to kick the guy out. There's not really anything she can do. The cops aren't willing to do anything. So they're just gonna have to put up with this guy. This kind of brings in the point that I brought up in a couple of videos uh, a week ago. It was that if you're an auditor, don't overstay your welcome because this actually really helps the movement. If you are allowed to record and the police actually honor their robes, you should praise this behavior. I know this should be actually the norm, but unfortunately it's not. It's actually like a rarity nowadays. So if you actually accept, oh wow, they've actually let me exercise my right. They're not abusing my rights. Wow, this is a miracle. Then just do a bit of filming and move back to a different place. This is my advice and criticism to some of these auditors. Some overstay their welcome and that's why, you know, I guess you could say, yeah, but they have the First Amendment. There's no time restraint. There's no time limit. I know, but come on. Do you guys not get my point? Like, do you not agree with me? Comment down below what you think. I'll leave a link to Good Guy, Good Citizen. Sorry, Good Guy. I said Good Guy to his earlier. Good Citizen. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. In front of this house. I'm next with a video by LAC Audit or Lack Audit. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. This was a video of him, First Amendment auditing a cop who had been called on him for apparently being outside someone's property. I don't know if there's any backstory to this. If there is, it will most likely be in the original video. And also, you can also ask him. I mean, try commenting on his videos when you guys subscribe to him. So. Overall, this female cop seems to be responding to a call from a concerned neighbor who has noticed that this guy is stood outside or parked outside in his vehicle. Now, there must be some type of reasonable articulable suspicion, but to begin with, it seems to me like the female cop starts off pretty unprofessional. I don't think she seems to state that from the get-go, which she probably should, as it would put a lot of doubts to rest as to why she's even there. It doesn't make any sense to begin with, but Stay tuned till the end and maybe it will. In front of this house, are you here for any kind of reason? Well, she approached me and as, far, and as far as I told her when she approached me on a public street, she doesn't have any right no, to tell absolutely. me to move, right? Yeah. I told her if she's going to call you guys, make sure that she tells you guys that I'm parked on a public street so you guys don't have to waste your time coming out here. She okay. seems to think that it's illegal to park in front of her house. I told her I can be here for as long as I want to be here. So I have a dash cam, I saw you. Okay. And I turned it on so I can record the incident. So this trumps the idling. You know, sec sorry, First Amendment, right? Okay. Yeah. It's only the vehicle idling. You are parked legally, so I have no problem with that. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Can right. I get a name and badge number? So I don't know if this lady that called the cops on this man actually knows him. Maybe he is a neighbor who lives nearby. 
maybe he is simply parking there to access some other building or walk his dog or go running there's a million different things he could be doing it's his private life it's his right to park there you know there's some neighbors that i've had in my life that get funny about parking cars and situations of blocking driveways as long as you're not obstructing anyone's access to their property you're all good to go park it safely and within the regulations don't be an idiot and you'll be fine it seems like this man has had the cops called on him by a karen who had nothing else to do and actually i think she should be held liable for wasting police resources because this female cop could have been catching criminals thieves preventing crimes protecting someone saving someone there's a million things the cops actually are useful for and this isn't one of them i'll leave a link to this guy's channel down below if you want to find out more please subscribe to audit rewind and also leave a like on today's video i am your host commentator and i'll catch you guys in tomorrow evening's show Peace out.